Hello, Sarinda Jones here. I have a quick tutorial for you using gesso and tags, um, using different ways um, of applying the gesso onto the tag. So we're going to start with the palette knife and it's a pretty simple technique and then we'll move on to the stencils. Um, I think you're really going to enjoy this and it's a really fun way to um, create texture and depth and then using inks. Alright, let's get started. So the video here is going to be sped up so you can see how I work pretty quickly. You put the gesso on your palette knife and I just go here and there to try to um, cover up some of the tag. I like to leave some of the spaces um, opened just to um, let the ink saturate into that area. You'll need to wipe off your palette tools and everything. Once you um, get that on there, you'll want to maybe use a heat tool or set it aside. Tag number two, we're using a stencil and I'm using um, Artist Seller stencils, which I absolutely love. They're fantastic, good, durable quality. Um, you'll take your gesso, align it where you want it. You might want to tape it down. I'm not too fussy about it because I just want to get it on the tag. I hold it the best I can and just kind of push it through the stencil. You will need to clean up your stencil quite extensively because gesso will stay on the stencil. You just remove it off and then um, I just have water in a squirt bottle and I just clean it off right there on my table. And if I miss anything, I can run it underneath the sink at a later time. So back to the, the tag here. This is a pretty amazing um, stencil. It's a brain coral and um, it picks up all the ink on the tag. This one we're creating the third and fourth tag together and what we're doing is we're going to be spreading the gesso onto one of the tags and then we are going to squish another tag on the top. So you just get a nice big hefty coating, pretty generous there, and then you'll take another tag and place it right over the top. And then I put some firm pressure until um, it kind of squishes out the side and I can see that. And once I feel pretty good about it, I hold the bottom tag down and um, try to separate the two tags. And you get this really amazing organic texture that will be picked up by the inks that we use. Before we add color, I wanted to review some of the tags that we had. The first one was with the palette knife. This one was done with the stencil from Artist Seller, Brain Coral. And this is um, the technique to create that organic texture where we, we made the third and fourth tag together. Okay, here we're using tag number one with the palette knife and I'm using the Winsor Newton um, drawing inks in canary yellow, orange, and purple. I spray the tag with water and then I just take a cheap um, brush and add the color to the tag. As you can see, I like to blend it so as I go, I put the water, another squirt of water, I pick it up and move it around so that the ink can blend nicely. Add a little bit more water and then just kind of blend it and set it aside and then you take a plain tag and then add more water to your craft sheet and then you can make a fifth tag just sopping up the ink that is there. This is a wonderful way to use up that ink on your on your craft sheet. So the next thing you're going to want to do is just heat set and dry with your heat gun. So tag number two is using the texture with the stencils, the, the brain coral stencil that I used. And then we're going to use Distress Stain on this. So what I normally do is um, I will spray some water on the tag and then I'll add the stain to the very top. I start with usually my lightest color, in this case I started with the darkest. Um, but you'll see that I'll go back in with um, the lighter colors to add um, some brightness to it. So you just um, kind of go around and then heat set and then I'm trying to get the ink 
down into those crevices so anything that has doesn't have the gesso that's just the plain tag will pick up the inks and saturate the paper darker which I love. I think this is a great technique. And then here I am going back in with the squeezed lemonade and then you'll just heat set and um, set it aside. This is tag number three that we did with the texture and we're using the Andorandac colors in red pepper, sunset orange, and butterscotch. I really love these colors together. And what you'll see is you'll notice that the ink, the spray ink, just picks up all of these organic crevices. Again, I just wetted the tag and then I'm applying the color. And then I'll start to heat and kind of dab off some and just see see kind of how it how it looks at the time. If you want to add more water and get more drips, that's um, definitely a possibility. And then um, just set it aside. So now I'm going to take the fifth tag that we used and um, sop up the rest of the Anoran deck. Again, I just sprayed on the craft mat and set it aside. Simple. Here we are with tag number four using the, the Distressed Ink Pad colors in Forest Moss, Crush Olive, Vintage Photo, and Rusty Hinge. And I'm going to apologize for this upfront that some of the tag is off of the video screen, so I do apologize for that. So I started with the Rusty Hinge and I just am adding the texture, the pad, right to the tag and to the top of the texture of the gesso. And what this is doing is picking up all the veins and, and the texture that the gesso has made. This is a really, really quick technique. You can add water if you want, but other you wouldn't get that nice vein look and I really wanted to show you how that is. Here I'm just taking the vintage photo and going around the edge to make it a little darker. And there you have it. Here we have all four of our tags and then our bonus tag from just using this leftover waste ink right there is number five. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and just keep your creative brains going and just experiment. Take care.